I'm going to talk about a parent t test. That's the test on the right here. And in doing that, I'm going to compare it to an independent t test. Now, an independent t test, if you recall, is a comparison of two completely separate groups of individuals on some sort of score. In this case, it was emotional IQ, and we were comparing males with females. In a paired t test, we actually have two assessments, but they're on the same person. So, and it's all. In this case, for example, it's often used in pre- and post-test uh, measures of learning. So in this case, we have a situation where students have learned with video podcasts. Before they watch the video podcast, they're given a pre-test. And then they watch the video podcast. And then they're given a post-test. And we compare those scores to see if learning has occurred. In this case, we have a pre-test score of 17 or almost 18 percent and a post-test score of 75 percent. Well, we would certainly say that's a, a pretty big jump, but again, we would have to run a statistical test by it just to see if it was significant. I would expect it would be, but you, you, you really you need to do that in a journal paper. You just can't say, oh yeah, it looks like, looks like it's a big difference. So to recap, an independent t-test is done with two different groups, whereas a p-test, a paired t-test, p-test, a paired t-test is conducted on one group, and they you 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 measure something about that group twice. Okay, both with independent and paired t-tests, we're measuring two things, um, so that's important. Uh, you. You'll, you'll go to an ANOVA when you're actually analysis of variance when you measure three things. So that's a paired t-test.